before he has a profit. But you better not go three days. Do you realize? And, and I, I'm saying some things to you that trainers aren't going to say to you because they're trying to they're trying to protect their money. They're like, oh, I don't want any refunds or anything. So let me make it feel good, right? I'm not here to make you feel good. I'm here to get you to produce. Because if you produce, you change lives. And if you don't produce, you do not change lives. You don't. So guess what? We've already had people quit. They've already quit. They've already gone, I'm gonna need my refund, bro. There are people that have already quit the program because they were a little bit confused. Because they were a little bit confused. And you wonder why people don't ever reach their dreams. You wonder why people don't ever reach their goals. It's so damn apparent because they don't do the damn work. Because they're scared -sies of, of not looking good. They're scared of not knowing what that next step is. Guess what? That's what growth is. And so you're blessed and cursed right now because you're blessed in that you have the most powerful marketing weapon that has ever existed in all of any entrepreneur's dream. If only Rockefeller could have done a Facebook Live about his pipelines. If only Carnegie could do Facebook Lives about his steel, right? If only Tesla, Tesla, my man, if only Tesla could have done a Facebook Live comparing AC to DC. Oh my goodness, that dude, legend. He wouldn't have died broke, right? If only. So the blessing is that you have access to the most powerful marketing weapon in the history of all entrepreneurs ever better than anything, anything that has ever existed, which is, which is the live video, right? So congratulations. You're born in the era of the entrepreneur where life is easier than it's ever been before on ever, right? I mean, you know, you had uh, Nathan Rothschild had uh, people on horseback that were watching the Battle of Waterloo so they could, you know, ride back real quick so he could gobble up all the English stock, right? That's when the entrepreneurship was tough. <laughs> but but you got fewer views on your Facebook lives after eight days. Who man, that's tough, man. That's that's a that's a hallmark story. That's I'm gonna see that on Lifetime at some point, right? So the blessing is you have the most gangster marketing weapon on the planet of Earth on the history of being an entrepreneur. But the curse is. And you got to deal with this is you see immediate reactions. See, when I first started the first, my first six years of doing video, we didn't have live video. We weren't that blessed. So you would do a video, you would upload it to YouTube and you would hope, I hope someone sees it. But the blessing in that was that you didn't see how many views. And if you're getting, if you're getting sad face, if you're baby bearing up because you see fewer viewers, then just blindfold yourself or something. You know, take white out and literally put it on your laptop or on your phone screen so you don't see the number of views if it takes that level of effort for you not to baby bear up, for you not to, you know, have tears in your beers and be crying all day long because you got three less viewers. And so you got you got to get tougher, my man. You got to get tougher. Get tougher. Don't bother. I'm I'm real serious about this. Don't bother going live if you're not going to engage first. Don't even bother. Just don't do it. You got to discipline yourself. It's not that difficult. Man, he wants me to comment on people's stuff. Uh, guys, really. I mean, I'm not saying, hey, you got to go out and dig a six foot trench in your yard before you go live. Okay, that would be a little unreasonable. That'd be some of you would do it because some of you are hungry. Some wouldn't do it, no matter what I say, right? And so it's not that much work, guys. It's, you know, you know, exercise your thumbs, you know, give them a little, little pep talk, you can do it, right? And go drop some emojis and hearts and all that jazz, right? So engage for five minutes, uh, hitting up like 20 plus people if you're able to. Run your Facebook Live, intro, question, content, call to action. Now, this is the area that I wanna make sure that you're doing. Okay, that I want to make sure you're doing. So engage as soon as you're done. Go back and reply to each comment. Reply to each comment. You know, even if it's a terrible comment, you suck, right? Say, sorry you feel that way. I hope your day improves. <laughs> 
you got to stop being emotionally attached to these haters. I mean, I mean, imagine the self-confidence of a troll that just sits at home and says, you sick, eating the, you know, Doritos and stuff, right? Or cheese all over, right? Just imagine, imagine the self-worth and self-confidence of a troll that just goes around and bleh, you bleh, bleh, right? I mean, their life must suck so much to just go around and troll people, right? So, but if they have the power to you, to pull you down, someone who has the blood of Alexander the Great, of Joan of Arc, of, you know, oh my God. Like imagine, imagine a mosquito taking down an elephant. Well, that's what's happening when you let a troll bring you down. I hate a hater. Congratulations. You're doing shit, right? If you don't have any haters, you're just flying so under the radar. You're being so mediocre that no, you didn't, you never pop your head up and strive for the stars. Then yeah, you're not going to get any haters. So golly, stop, stop letting these tiny little, little, you know, not even, they don't even bite ants, right? Like they, they literally are unable to hurt you unless you let it. And so get over it. Now, little hats. Y'all are like, you're, you're refreshing your screen. No leads, no leads, no leads, no leads. You'll hear something. No leads, no leads. Oh, it's the doorbell. No leads, no leads, no leads. You hear something. Oh, you think it was a notification of a lead. It's not a lead, right? So you got to fight for what you get. Fact. Don't be mad. Don't be sad. Don't be, who could they leave? They get over here. Don't be that. Right? Don't be that wiener. All right? Don't be a big wiener. Okay? These people worked hard to get to that influence. They provided value. They built the organization. They did the work. You can too if you don't cry and boohoo about it. All right? So you are going to have to do, a, you're going to have to do work in a little bit different way. So leaders, okay? Influencers, big hats. You're going to get a whole bunch of likes. You probably don't need to reach out to all of those likes. Little hats, you better, if someone sniffs, Hey, I saw you sniffed at my video there. How you doing today? If somebody sniffs in the general direction of your live video, you should probably reach out to them. So if someone likes your video, you should treat that as a prospect and you reach out to them. Say, hey, how you doing, right? Ask them how they're doing. Ask them what's going on. Hey, I appreciate you liking my video. What'd you like about it? Reach out and connect with them, okay? You'll see. The way for you to change someone's life is not to get a like. The way for you to change someone's life is not to get a comment. The way to pay attention to this, because this is going to blow your damn mind if you're coachable. Now, those of you not coachable, this is going to hurt you. And you'll, dis you'll disagree with it. You'll get up in arms and say, no way, Jose's. The only way for you to change someone's life is to get them to buy. I know that sounds weird. I know it sounds strange. I know it doesn't make sense. I know that you want to care bear and bake them cookies and rub their shoulders and, you know, uh, massage their temples with peppermint oil. I know that you want to, you know, love on them and hug them, squeeze them. That is not going to change their life. Their life can possibly be changed when they purchased, when they purchase your product, when they buy your service, when they join your group, when they join your organization, that's when you have the possibility, the possibility of them changing their life. You doing a good video that's really educational is not going to change their life. They're going to go back to life. They're going to spill something on the oven. They're going to, you know, a flat tire. There's something going to, going to take them off their course unless they're plugged into you. You know, when we started impacting way more lives is when we first are offered our high end coaching. Then we started impacting a whole lot more lives when we started offering rank makers that people pay for. I cannot impact the freebie seekers. I just can't. There's too much shit out there for free that they can consume and send them in a different direction. The people that don't buy our stuff, we don't impact. We don't. The people that buy your product, the people that buy your service, the people that join your opportunity and get in your organization, those are the people that can be impacted. The people that just see the presentation, the people that just comment, the people that just like, you aren't changing their lives. So when should you do a Facebook Live without a call to action? How about never? Why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you play big for them? 
why wouldn't you want them to step it up? And so I hope this was helpful for you. This winnings, man, I could really need this win. Now, first of all, let me step back because I, because I, 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 um, I analyze your triggerness, right? So right now, there's some people about to be triggered, right? So, so I, I get you right on the edge of where you're like, how dare he judge me, right? How, how he doesn't understand, he's not in my shoes, right? So I get you right to that edge. And then I point out what we're doing here, okay? If you think that the world operates by need, then what, what do you gotta do to win? You just gotta increase your need. That's all you got to do. You want to you be the biggest winner? Be the neediest. Be the neediest. Well, you know, hey, uh, uh, oh, I know she has four kids. I got six kids. Well, I, I know they got fired from her job. I got fired from both my jobs. I know that they're behind on their rents. I'm behind on all bills. So if you think to win more, it's because of, your needs, you are not going to win at anything. You're not going to win a contest. You're not going to win a live. You're not going to win, oh, I should say, in life. You aren't going to win. You're going to, to maintain that you must be in need because for someone to buy something, they got to feel sorry for someone, right? I got to feel, I feel so bad. Let me buy your brownies. Okay, if you're selling cookies on the street as a homeless person, then all right, fine. You'll sell some cookies, but you'll stay on that street. If you want to stay on that street, if you want to constantly be struggling, then just think the world operates by need. That's all you got to do.